At this point, unless you've been living in a cave, chances are you have probably heard of ChatGPT. Many people have attempted to feed legal coding problems into ChatGPT and ask for a solution. From my experience, it's being a hit and miss depending on the problem. However, there are other creative ways you can use ChatGPT to help with your legal grind. Here are four simple and effective ways. One of the use cases for ChatGPT is to ask it to walk through the code you don't understand in the solution session. When other users provide codes without explanation, it can be frustrating to understand what's going on. You can simply copy and paste the code into ChatGPT and ask for a detailed explanation. ChatGPT will then break down the code line by line, explaining what each line does and how it contributes to the overall solution. Another useful feature of ChatGPT is its ability to estimate the time and space complexity of a given code solution. Let's say in this solution, the provider doesn't specify the time complexity, and in the comment section, there are people debating what is the time complexity of the code. You can ask ChatGPT to estimate the time and space complexity of the code, and it will provide an estimate, along with an explanation of how you arrive at that estimate. Now, Let's say you come across with a code solution in a programming language that you're not familiar with. For instance, you might stumble upon a well-written solution in C++, but you only know Python. In this case, you can copy and paste the C++ code into ChatGPT and ask it to translate the code into Python. Finally, ChatGPT can be a lifesaver when it comes to debugging errors in your own code. For example, if you encounter a runtime error in your solution, copy and paste the code and the error message into ChatGPT and ask it to explain what the error means and how to fix it. ChatGPT will then provide an explanation of what the error means and suggest potential solutions. Much easier than scrolling through Stack Overflow answers. So, those are the simple ways I have been using ChatGPT with Glucose. What about you? Do you have any other creative ways to use ChatGPT that you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to stay tuned for a future video where we will cover more advanced usage of ChatGPT.